Manchester City had the highest commercial revenue in the Premier League that season. The champion's $440 million was almost 30 times more than the club with the lowest commercial revenue. That was Bournemouth. It's 120 days since the start of the conflict and the message at this march very much remains the same. The people here want a ceasefire now and they also want the UK government to play a part in making sure that happens. <laughs> It's the deadliest attack in almost 20 years in Russia. Gunmen opened fire just minutes before rock band Picnic were due to perform. In the UK, there's a scheme called the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. It's a government scheme and it protects customer deposits up to £85,000 or $107,000 in the case of a bank collapse. But the protesters here are angry and say that special schemes are in place for those fleeing conflicts like Ukraine and Afghanistan. And why is Sudan being treated differently? and China Eastern runs a daily service to Shanghai. These new routes from Gatwick can also offer business opportunities between the two countries. In 2023, the UK exported close to $50 billion worth of goods and services to China. Well, Sanchez has become known as a bit of a risk taker, and so far it's paid off. Last year, he called a snap general election after his party performed badly in regional polls, and he ended up getting a new term. The Flying Scotsman has been described as the world's most famous steam locomotive. It's steeped in history. And I was actually reading that you said that your kind of path into classical music and playing the cello was down to your Chinese mother. So I was just wondering if you could tell me a bit about your mother's influence in your life. My mother's a, a violinist. She grew up in Beijing. More than 100 heads of states are set to attend the opening ceremony, with 300,000 spectators lining the banks of the Seine. But they're not just ordinary spectators. Each had to be invited and undergo security checks. But not everyone has been impressed with the open-air parade. It has got some praise, but other users on social media are saying they much preferred other opening ceremonies, in particular London and Beijing. Back to you, Roman. Siobhan, thank you very much.